Hey everyone, it's Helen, welcome back, and this is my 16th video in my Java Football series, and in this episode we're going to be going over classes and objects. Now as you know, the files that we are creating here are classes, so what I'm going to show you in this video is a way to use multiple classes to sort of save some space and it can really make everything look a lot neater in some cases. So I'm going to start out by coming over here, clicking new class, and we're going to name our first class circle. And I'm going to move this over and delete everything in here for now. So I want to start out, obviously we're going to type in public class circle with our parentheses, or not parentheses, but our brackets. And then we're going to create what's called the constructor of our class. Um, the constructor, it's very simple. It's just going to be public circle, sorry I spelled circle wrong, and then parentheses. Now, what this is saying first off, I'm um, going to start out, just break it down, is it's this public word right here, which I've probably talked about already, is just declaring that this this constructor right here is going to be uh, able to be accessed from any other file because it's public. And when you're creating your constructor, you always want this to be public because odds are you, you're going to end up wanting to use this class and your main class like tester over here is what I have. So another thing that I want to mention is that although it isn't typed out, it is always going to be void. It's not really returning anything, the main constructor. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the name. The name is circle. Uh, for your constructor, it has to be the same name as the class, exactly the same, uppercase C and everything. So next I'm going to come into my parameters and I'm going to type in double R. So now what this, you'll see this later on in the video, but what this uh, variable is here is it's going to make, you're going to be creating an object in your main tester file and it's going to be, you're going to be inputting a value which is going to be equal to R. But now that we've created R, because what R is going to be, if for those of you that couldn't, that haven't already guessed, it's going to be equal to the radius of our circle. So what we're going to do, we have to create a, a, a state variable up above or down below. Some people put it at the end of the class. I like to go wherever it seems to fit in, you know. So seeing as I'm using it here, I might as well put it at the top. So it's going to be public double radius. Now, it has to be public, of course, because it's going to be accessed from other places. And it's going to end up being a double, so I'm going to make it a double, and I'm going to give it the name radius. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do radius, is assign the variable, or assign the value of r, which, like I said, is going to be the input. So, uh, the input of the object that you're going to be creating. So, it's just kind of saying that well, you know, it's just, it's giving, it's assigning the number that you're going to input to the radius. So that way you can do other mathematical equations, which I'm going to show you here, because next we're going to make our first method. So for a method, I'm going to do uh, a method that finds the area of the circle to start out. So we're going to do public double area. And these ones are going to be lowercase. Whoops. Okay. My bad. There we go. Alright. So inside this, this is also going to be public. These are all going to be public, by the way, because you're going to want to... I mean, most of the time, you're going to want to be accessing them from uh, from other classes. But, um, as you may guess, if for some reason you ever want something to just be accessed inside this class, you're just going to change this to private. So, but for now, we'll keep it at public. And, of course, double. This number right here, or this uh, value right here, it's going to be whatever you, you want to return. So, I sorry, I said that it, this is really void up here. I don't think I talked about this, but what void means is that it's not going to return anything. It's just, it's, nothing is going to be returned in this constructor. But when we come down here into this method, we're going to want to return a double, and that's going to be the, that double is going to be equal to the area, which is why we named area. So, uh, so what we want to do here the, we're just going to create a double, and we're going to call it A for area, and we're going to assign it the value of 2, sorry, 2 times math 
dot pi times radius. Because like we said, we can't use r right here because r is only see if I if I delete this and I compile it, r won't exist uh technically because it's only it's confined this variable is confined into only the constructor. So that's why we assigned radius the value of r so that we can make this one radius. So as you can know, as you, um uh, most of you probably know, um, the formula for finding the area of a circle is 2 pi r, which is what we've done here. It's 2 times pi times the radius of a circle. So the last thing that we're going to do, because that's a simple, I mean, that's that's all we need to do to find the area. So we, we want to, uh, sorry, we want to return our value, and we're going to put return a, because like I said, we want to return a double up here, and we've created this double, and this is the value of a. So we're going to return a. So I'm going to create another one here, just because I figure we might as well. And in this time, we're going to do circum. Sorry, lowercase uh, circumference with our parameters. Now, most of the time, these aren't necessarily the parameters. Not most of the time, I guess, but uh, some of the time, these aren't going to have any. Uh, Actual parameters inside the parentheses, mainly uh, like you can. There's some cir there are some circumstances where you can. I'm not going to get too much into that for now, but you know, for now we're just going to keep it like this. Maybe I'll talk more about that later. But anyways, so we want to do the circumference. Um, you know what I just realized? This is actually the formula for a circumference of a circle: two pi r. My bad. Uh. <laughs> This brain fart there. Uh, here, I'll leave it. The circumference of an area is actually pi r squared. So my bad. So we're just going to do um, radius times radius. So that's going to give us math. That's going to give us pi r times r, which is r squared. So for area, it's pi r squared. And for circumference, it is 2 pi r. My bad. Uh, sorry. Hopefully most of you caught that. But anyways, we're going to return our variable, and that is going to be c. Now, um, I'll just address this really quick. Most of you might be wondering uh, why we don't need any state variables, like why I haven't made a public double a or a public double c. And the reason for that is is because it's simply the value that we're returning. We are not using any of these numbers and any other uh, methods. Uh, we could if we needed to, but in this case, we're not going to. So now that I have this class made, I'm gonna come back. <coughs> so I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, call your object. Now, we're calling your object. Well, first off, I'm, I wanna instantiate my object. I'm gonna be creating my object. So the first thing that I'm, I'm gonna do is come back into my tester class, and I'm gonna make an object and by um, doing circle. I'll just name it uh, sir and then it's going to be new circle and then parameters and inside our parameters I'll give it a radius of 25 so what this is doing here this is just the name of the class so it's going to be circle and then this is the name which is it's also the type the object type and the sir right here is uh, it's the name of you know just like any other variable it's the name of the object that you're going to make we can make this anything I can make it dog or whatever but for now we'll leave it at sir and we're going to be creating a new circle with 25 as the radius <coughs> so there are certain things that we can do here for instance we can print out um, yes uh, we can print out the uh, area that we had because we you know we've made our we've assigned it uh, we've assigned R which is if if you come back here you can tell or like I was trying to explain earlier is that this value is equal to whatever value you input so this line right here is actually equal to this right here except it's giving it's giving 25 it's assigning R the value of 25 so what we're gonna do we're gonna print out the uh, area of the circle first and we're gonna do that by typing the name of our object which is sir dot 
area and then blank parameters because remember there was nothing inside the parameter so if we compile this come back over here run it and that should be um, and just to double check it's gonna be what I say um, is there no pi button in here hmm. uh, well okay I'll do 3.14 Maybe I, maybe there's I don't seem to see a pi button, but I'll just do 3.14 times 25 times 25. And as you can see, although this is rounded because I use 3.14 for pi instead of the actual value, um, but it's 192 or 1962.5, and that's pretty close. So you know that shows you that it's actually working at least. So uh, other than that, let's see. We can also come back here and I'll print the circumference now. And as you can guess, it's essentially the same thing. Just come down and we're going to change this to the other method, which was circumference. Compile that, come back, run it, and there we go. Uh, I'm not going to show you the math on that calculator because um, you'll just have to trust me on that one. It's right. So, uh, with all that, I guess that's pretty much all I want to get to on uh, objects. I'm not going to be talking. I'll, I'll talk about them more in a later video, actually. But um, you know, they can be useful. A lot of people, you know, when, if you get into like a detailed game or something, um, everybody uh, like you'll always see multiple classes. And at first, you might not understand why it's practical because you might think, oh well, I can just throw it all into one. It really, it it doesn't. It's hard to keep track of everything if you throw everything into one. And it's, I mean, there are also, uh, all, I mean, other than just organization, there are other means to why you should do it anyways. But anyways, with that, I'm going to uh, leave you with that information. I'm sorry that I did not get any videos up last week. Uh, well, I got one up. Just kind of informational video. But other than that, you know, I was kind of taking a, a vacation week from videos. It was kind of hectic otherwise, though. So... But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.